The Goths Gothic, Gut Iuda, Latin, Gothi, were an East Germanic people, two of whose branches, the Visigoths and the Ostrogoths, played an important role in the fall of the Western Roman Empire through the long series of Gothic wars and in the emergence of medieval Europe. The Goths dominated a vast area, which at its peak under the Germanic king Ermanaric and his sub-king Athanaric possibly extended all the way from the Danube to the Don, and from the Black Sea to the Baltic Sea. The Goths spoke the Gothic language, one of the extinct East Germanic languages. It was last spoken in Crimea in the 17th century by the Crimean Goths. Etymology <inaudible> 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 In the Gothic language of Ostrogothic Italy they were called the Gut Iuda, most commonly translated as Gothic people, but only attested as dative singular Gut Iudai. Another name, Gutans, is inferred from a genitive plural form Gutani in the Petrasa inscription. In Old Norse they were known as the Gutar or Gotar, in Latin as the Gothi, and in Greek as the Gothoi, Gothoi. The Goths have been referred to by many names, perhaps at least in part because they comprised many separate ethnic groups, but also because in early accounts of Indo-European and later Germanic migrations in the migration period in general it was common practice to use various names to refer to the same group. The Goths believed as most modern scholars do, that the various names all derived from a single prehistoric ethnonym that referred originally to a uniform culture that flourished around the middle of the first millennium BC, i.e., the original Goths. Origins <inaudible> 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 The exact origin of the ancient Goths remains unknown. Evidence of them before they interacted with the Romans is limited. The traditional account of the Goths' early history depends on the Ostrogoth Jordanses. Getica written c. 551 AD. Jordanes states that the earliest migrating Goths sailed from what is now Sweden to what is now Poland. If this is accurate, then they may have been the people responsible for the Wheelbark archaeological complex. Modern academics have generally abandoned this theory. Today, the wheelbark culture is thought to have developed from earlier cultures in the same area. Archaeological finds show close contacts between southern Sweden and the Baltic coastal area on the continent, and further towards the southeast, evidenced by pottery, house types and graves. Rather than a massive migration, similarities in the material cultures may be products of long-term regular contacts. However, the archaeological record could indicate that while his work is thought to be unreliable, Jordan's story was based on an oral tradition with some basis in fact. Sometime around the 1st century AD, Germanic peoples may have migrated from Scandinavia to Gothiskanza, in present-day Poland. Early archaeological evidence in the traditional Swedish province of Ostergotland suggests a general depopulation during this period. However, there is no archaeological evidence for a substantial emigration from Scandinavia and they may have originated in continental Europe. Upon their arrival on the Pontic steppe, the Germanic tribes adopted the ways of the Eurasian nomads. The first Greek references to the Goths call them Scythians, since this area along the Black Sea historically had been occupied by an unrelated people of that name. The application of that designation to the Goths appears to be not ethnological but rather geographical and cultural. Greeks regarded both the ethnic Scythians and the Goths as barbarians. The earliest known material culture associated with the Goths on the southern coast of the Baltic Sea is the Wheelbark culture, centered on the modern region of Pomerania in northern Poland. This culture replaced the local Oxhoft or Oxiwi culture in the 1st century AD, when a Scandinavian settlement developed in a buffer zone between the Oxiwi culture and the Przeworsk culture. The culture of this area was influenced by southern Scandinavian culture beginning as early as the late Nordic Bronze Age and early pre Roman Iron Age. C. 1300 c. 300 BC. In fact, the Scandinavian influence on Pomerania and today's northern Poland from c. 1300 BC period 3 and onwards was so considerable that some see the culture of the region as part of the Nordic Bronze Age culture. In Eastern Europe the Goths formed part of the Cherniakov culture of the 2nd to 5th centuries AD. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Migrations and contact with Rome. Topic: Around 160 AD, in Central Europe, the first movements of the migration period were occurring, as Germanic tribes began moving southeast from their ancestral lands at the mouth of River Vistula, putting pressure on the Germanic tribes from the north and east. 
As a result, in episodes of Gothic and Vandal warfare Germanic tribes Rugi, Goths, Gepids, Vandals, Burgundians, and others crossed either the Lower Danube or the Black Sea, and led to the Marcomannic Wars, which resulted in widespread destruction and the first invasion of what is now Italy in the Roman Empire period. It has been suggested that the Goths maintained contact with southern Sweden during their migration. Goths also served in the Roman military and played a limited role, e.g. Gainas. In the first attested incursion in Thrace, the Goths were mentioned as Boronoi by Zosimus, and then as Borodoi by Gregory Thaumaturgus. The first incursion of the Roman Empire that can be attributed to Goths is the sack of Histria in 238. Several such raids followed in subsequent decades, in particular the Battle of Abritus in 251, led by C. Niva, in which the Roman Emperor Decius was killed. At the time, there were at least two groups of Goths, the Thirvingi and the Groithungs. Goths were subsequently heavily recruited into the Roman army to fight in the Roman-Persian Wars, notably participating at the Battle of Misich in 242. The Mosagoths settled in Thrace and Mosia. The first seaborne raids took place in three subsequent years, probably 255 to 257. An unsuccessful attack on Pityus was followed in the second year by another, which sacked Pityus and Trabzon and ravaged large areas in the Pontus. In the third year, a much larger force devastated large areas of Bithynia and the Propontis, including the cities of Chalcedon, Nicomedia, Nicaea, Apamea Mirlia, Sias, and Bursa. By the end of the raids, the Goths had seized control over Crimea and the Bosporus and captured several cities on the Euxine coast, including Albia and Tyras, which enabled them to engage in widespread naval activities. After Gallienus was assassinated outside Milan in the summer of 268 in a plot led by high officers in his army, Claudius Gothicus was proclaimed emperor and headed to Rome to establish his rule. Claudius Immediate concerns were with the Alemanni, who had invaded Raetia and Italy. After he defeated them in the Battle of Lake Benicus, he was finally able to take care of the invasions in the Balkan provinces. Learning of the approach of Claudius, the Goths first attempted to directly invade Italy. They were engaged at the Battle of Nasus. It seems that Aurelian, who was in charge of all Roman cavalry during Claudius, Rain led the decisive attack in the battle. Some survivors were resettled within the empire, while others were incorporated into the Roman army. The battle ensured the survival of the Roman Empire for another two centuries. In 270, after the death of Claudius, Goths under the leadership of Canabods again launched an invasion on the Roman Empire, but were defeated by Aurelian, who however surrendered Dacia beyond the Danube. Around 275 the Goths launched a last major assault on Asia Minor, where piracy by Black Sea Goths was causing great trouble in Colchis, Pontus, Cappadocia, Galatia and even Cilicia. They were defeated sometime in 276 by Emperor Marcus Claudius Tacitus. In 332, Constantine helped the Sarmatians to settle on the north banks of the Danube to defend against the Goths' attacks and thereby enforce the Roman Empire's border. Around 100,000 Goths were reportedly killed in battle, and Ariaricus, son of the king of the Goths, was captured. The Goths increasingly became soldiers in the Roman armies in the 4th century AD leading to the Germanization of the Roman army by the time the Western Empire disappeared. The Gothic penchant for wearing skins became fashion in Constantinople, which was heavily denounced by conservatives. Following a famine, the Gothic War of 376 to 382 ensued, where the Goths and some of the local Thracians rebelled. The Roman Emperor Valens was killed at the Battle of Adrianople in 378. Following the decisive Gothic victory at Adrianople, Julius, the Magister Militum of the Eastern Roman Empire, organized a wide-scale massacre of Goths in Asia Minor, Syria and other parts of the Roman East. Fearing rebellion, Julian lured the Goths into the confines of urban streets from which they could not escape and massacred soldiers and civilians alike. As word spread, the Goths rioted throughout the region, and large numbers were killed. Survivors may have settled in Phrygia. Although the Huns successfully subdued many of the Goths, who joined their ranks, a group of Goths led by Fritigern fled across the Danube. Major sources for this period of Gothic history include Ammianus Race Gestae, which mentions Gothic involvement in the civil war between emperors Procopius and Valens of 365 and recounts the Gothic War 376 
Around 375 AD, the Huns overran the Alans and then the Goths. In the late 4th century, the Huns arrived from the east and invaded the region controlled by the Goths. Topic: <laughs> Visigoths and Ostrogoths. Topic: by the 4th century, the Goths had captured Roman Dacia which Aurelian had evacuated in 274 and divided into at least two distinct groups separated by the Dniester River, the Thirvingi led by the Balti dynasty and the Groithungi led by the Amali dynasty. The Goths separated into two main branches, the Visigoths, who became Fodorati federates of the Roman Empire, and the Ostrogoths, who joined the Huns. Both the Groithungi and Thirvingi became heavily Romanized during the 4th century. This came about through trade with the Romans, as well as through Gothic membership of a military covenant, which was based in Byzantium and involved pledges of military assistance. Reportedly, 40,000 Goths were brought by Constantine to defend Constantinople in his later reign, and the palace guard was mostly composed from among Germanic peoples since foreign troops were less likely to rebel so far from home and also had less hesitation about using deadly force on the native population. The Gothic missionary Wolfilla devised the Gothic alphabet to translate the Wolfilla Bible and converted many of the Goths from Germanic paganism to Aryan Christianity. The Huns fell upon the Thirvingi, whose staunchly pagan ruler, Athonaric, sought refuge in the mountains. Meanwhile, the Aryan Thuringian rebel chieftain Fritigern approached the Eastern Roman Emperor Valens in 376 with a portion of his people and asked to be allowed to settle on the south bank of the Danube. Valens permitted this, and even assisted the Goths in their crossing of the river probably at the fortress of Durastorum the Goths remained divided, as Visigoths and Ostrogoths, during the 5th century. These two tribes were among the Germanic peoples who clashed with the late Roman Empire during the migration period. The Visigoths were settled south of the Danube in 376. The kept to the Treaty of 382 as federates of the Romans and sent troops to fight for Theodosius I during the Civil War of 394 in which Eugenius and Arbogast, usurpers in the west were defeated. Alaric and his Goths ravaged Greece in the years 395-97. They moved west into Italy in 402. They were held in check but in led by Alaric I sacked Rome in 410. Honorius granted the Visigoths lands in Aquitania after they savaged the Sueves, Alans and Vandals in 417. The Visigoths had taken over the south of France and most of Spain in the 470s. <inaudible> <inaudible> Visigoths the Visigoths, after the sack of Rome 410 under Alaric I, were settled by the Romans in Aquitaine in 418 as Fodorates. Periodically they marched on Arles, the seat of the Praetorian prefect but were always pushed back. In 437 they signed a treaty with the Romans which they kept. In 451 they provided one-third of the army of other tribes and Romans which defeated the Huns' confederation of eastern peoples led under Attila at the Battle of the Catalanian Plains, they were by their king Theodoric I in 451. They became independent of the empire under his son, Euric who extended their territory over most of the Iberian Peninsula and Gaul in the 460s and 470s. In 507, the Visigoths were pushed into Hispania by the Frankish kingdom following the Battle of Voulay in which the combined forces of Franks and Burgundians fell on them. They were able to retain Narbonensis and Provence after the timely arrival of an Ostrogoth detachment sent by Theodoric the Great. By the late 6th century, the Visigoths had converted to Catholicism. Their kingdom fell and was progressively conquered from 711 when the Muslim Moors defeated their last kings Radaic and Ardo ruling until 724 over Catalonia and Narbonne during the Umayyad conquest of Hispania. Some nobles found refuge in the mountain areas of the East Pyrenees and Cantabrian West and founded different autonomous realms, as Gothia, Pamplona and the Kingdom of Asturias in 718. They all began later to regain control under the leadership of the Visigothic nobleman Pelagius of Asturias, whose victory at the Battle of Covadonga c. 722 it is taken to be the earliest at the centuries-long Reconquista. It was from the Asturian Kingdom that some parts of modern Spain and Portugal evolved. These Goths never became completely Romanized as they became rather Hispanicized. 
a completely different body of society which they were pivotal to transform, from the late empire provincial polity with which they merged to into the medieval entity stratified as an aristocratic society under a strong centralist monarchy and even stronger Christian church for both peoples hitherto differentiated by laws into a new code, albeit different from the feudal world that will devolve into later in France and other parts of Western Europe, organized around Germanic aristocracies too. They were widespread over a very a large territory and body of population, and however isolated or separated on the first centuries by customs, laws and religion practices in this fashion progressively adopted new ones retaining little of their original culture except for practical military customs, some artistic expressions and families' traditions, as heroic songs and other folklore including Germanic names still in use in present-day Spain give ample evidence. In the late 6th century Goths settled as Fodorati in parts of Asia Minor. Their descendants, who formed the elite Optimatoi regiment, still lived there in the early 8th century. While they were largely assimilated, their Gothic origin was still well known, the chronicler Theophanes the Confessor calls them Gothagreci. <laughs> Ostrogoths Christopher I Beckwith suggests that the entire Hunnic thrust into Europe and the Roman Empire was an attempt to subdue independent Goths in the West. It is possible that the Hunnic attack came as a response to the Gothic eastwards expansion. In the 4th century, the Groithungian king Ermanaric became the most powerful Gothic ruler, coming to dominate a vast area of the Pontic steppe, which possibly stretched from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea as far eastwards as the Ural Mountains. Ermanaric dominance of the Volga Don trade routes made historian Gottfried Schramm consider his realm as a forerunner of the Viking-founded state of Kievan Rus. Ermanaric later committed suicide, and the Groithungi fell under Hunnic dominance. In 454 AD, the Ostrogoths successfully revolted against the Huns at the Battle of Nedao and their leader Theodoric the Great invaded what is now Italy in 488 and settled his people there, founding an Ostrogothic kingdom which eventually gained control of the whole Italian peninsula. Under Theodomer, the Ostrogoths broke away from Hunnic rule following the Battle of Nedao in 454, and decisively defeated the Huns again under Valamir at Bashianae in 468. At the request of Emperor Zeno, Theodoric conquered all of Italy from the Syrian Odoacer beginning in 488. The Goths were briefly reunited under one crown in the early 6th century under Theodoric, who became regent of the Visigothic kingdom following the death of Alaric II at the Battle of Vule in 507. Procopius interpreted the name Visigoth as Western Goths and the name Ostrogoth as Eastern Goth reflecting the geographic distribution of the Gothic realms at that time. The Ostrogothic kingdom persisted until 553 under Taea, when Italy returned briefly to Byzantine control. This restoration of imperial rule was reversed by the conquest of the Lombards in 568. Shortly after Theodoric's death, the country was conquered by the Byzantine Empire in the Gothic War 535 that devastated and depopulated the peninsula. In 552, after their leader Totila was killed at the Battle of Tegina 552, effective Ostrogothic resistance ended, and the remaining Goths in Italy were assimilated by the Lombards, another Germanic tribe, who invaded Italy and founded the Kingdom of the Lombards in 567 AD. In the late 18th century, Gothic tribes who remained in the lands around the Black Sea, especially in Crimea, then known as Crimean Goths, were still mentioned as existing in the region and speaking a Crimean Gothic dialect, making them the last true Goths. The language is believed to have been spoken until as late as 1945. They are believed to have been assimilated by the Crimean Tatars. Culture. Topic. Topic. Art Topic. Before the invasion of the Huns, the Gothic Cherniakov culture produced jewelry, vessels, and decorative objects in a style much influenced by Greek and Roman craftsmen. They developed a polychrome style of gold work, using wrought cells or setting to encrust gemstones into their gold objects. This style was influential in West Germanic areas well into the Middle Ages. Topic. Language Topic. 
The Gothic language is the Germanic language with the earliest attestation, from the 300s, making it a language of interest in comparative linguistics. All other East Germanic languages are known, if at all, from proper names that survived in historical accounts, and from loan words in other languages. It is known primarily from the Codex Argentius, a translation of the Bible. The language was in decline by the mid-500s, due to the military victory of the Franks, the elimination of the Goths in Italy, and geographic isolation. In Spain the language lost its last and probably already declining function as a church language when the Visigoths converted to Catholicism in 589. It is now an extinct language. Topic. Society. Archaeological evidence in Visigothic cemeteries shows that social stratification was analogous to that of the village of Sabas the Goth. The majority of villagers were common peasants. Paupers were buried with funeral rites, unlike slaves. In a village of 50 to 100 people, there were four or five elite couples. In Eastern Europe, houses include sunken floored dwellings, surface dwellings, and stall houses. The largest known settlement is the Kriolani district. Cherniakov cemeteries feature both cremation and inhumation burials, among the latter the head is to the north. Some graves were left empty. Grave goods often include pottery, bone combs, and iron tools, but hardly ever weapons. Economy <inaudible> 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 Archaeology shows that the Visigoths, unlike the Ostrogoths, were predominantly farmers. They sowed wheat, barley, rye, and flax. They also raised pigs, poultry, and goats. Horses and donkeys were raised as working animals, and fed with hay. Sheep were raised for their wool, which they fashioned into clothing. Archaeology indicates they were skilled potters and blacksmiths. When peace treaties were negotiated with the Romans, the Goths demanded free trade. Imports from Rome included wine and cooking oil. Topic. Religion Topic. Initially practicing Gothic paganism, the Goths were gradually converted to Arian Christianity in the course of the 4th century as a result of the missionary activity by the Gothic bishop Wolfila, who devised a Gothic alphabet to translate the Wolfila Bible. During the 370s, Goths converting to Christianity were subject to persecution by the remaining pagan authorities of the Thirvingi people. The Visigothic kingdom in Hispania converted to Catholicism in the 7th century. The Ostrogoths and their remnants, the Crimean Goths, were closely connected to the Patriarchate of Constantinople from the 5th century, and became fully incorporated under the Metropolitanate of Gothia from the 9th century. Legacy the Gotlanders themselves had oral traditions of a mass migration towards southern Europe, recorded in the Gutasaga. If the facts are related, this would be a unique case of a tradition that endured for more than a thousand years and that actually predates most of the major splits in the Germanic language family. The Goths' relationship with Sweden became an important part of Swedish nationalism, and, until the 19th century, the Swedes were commonly considered to be the direct descendants of the Goths. Today, Swedish scholars identify this as a cultural movement called Gothicismus, which included an enthusiasm for things Old Norse. Gothic language and culture largely disappeared during the Middle Ages, although its influence continued in small ways in some Western European states. As late as the 16th century, a small number of people in the Crimea may still have spoken Crimean Gothic. The language survived as a domestic language in the Iberian Peninsula, modern Spain and Portugal, as late as the 8th century, and Frankish author Walafred Strabo wrote that it was still spoken in the Lower Danube area and that Crimean Gothic was spoken in isolated mountain regions in Crimea in the early 9th century. Gothic seeming terms found in later post 9th century manuscripts may not belong to the same language. In medieval and modern Spain, the Visigoths were believed to be the origin of the Spanish nobility compare Gobineau for a similar French idea. By the early 7th century, the ethnic distinction between Visigoths and Hispano-Romans had all but disappeared, but recognition of a Gothic origin, e.g. on gravestones, still survived among the nobility. 
The 7th century Visigothic aristocracy saw itself as bearers of a particular Gothic consciousness and as guardians of old traditions such as Germanic namegiving. Probably these traditions were on the whole restricted to the family sphere. Hispano Roman nobles did service for Visigothic nobles already in the 5th century, and the two branches of Spanish aristocracy had fully adopted similar customs two centuries later. In Chile, Argentina, and the Canary Islands, Godo was an ethnic slur used against European Spaniards, who in the early colonies period often felt superior to the people born locally Criollos. In Colombia, the members of the Colombian Conservative Party were referred to as Godos. The Spanish and Swedish claims of Gothic origins led to a clash at the Council of Basel in 1434. Before the assembled cardinals and delegations could engage in theological discussion, they had to decide how to sit during the proceedings. The delegations from the more prominent nations argued that they should sit closest to the Pope, and there were also disputes over who were to have the finest chairs and who were to have their chairs on mats. In some cases, they compromised so that some would have half a chair leg on the rim of a mat. In this conflict, Nicolaus Ragvaldi, bishop of the Diocese of Voxo, claimed that the Swedes were the descendants of the Great Goths, and that the people of Vastergotland in Latin were the Visigoths and the people of Ostergotland in Latin were the Ostrogoths. The Spanish delegation retorted that it was only the «lazy» and «unenterprising» Goths who had remained in Sweden, whereas the «heroic» Goths had left Sweden, invaded the Roman Empire, and settled in Spain. Gutnish is still spoken in Gotland and Faro. Old Gutnish was the dialect of Old Norse there. Topic in the sagas. Topic. According to Hervarer saga O.K. Erix, the saga of Hervor and Hydrek, a 13th century legendary saga, Arheimar was a capital of the Goths. The saga states that it was located on the river Dnieper. Halauskvia, the Battle of the Goths and Huns. Topic: <inaudible> Ancients who wrote about the Goths. Topic: <inaudible> Ambrose, the prologue of De Spiritu Sancto on the Holy Ghost makes passing reference to Athanaric's royal titles before 376. Comment on Saint Luke. Chuni in Halanos, Halani in Gothos, Gothi in Typhalos et Sarmatas Insorexorunt. Ammianus Marcellinus, Race Gestae Libri 31. He wrote that Hunnic domination of the Gothic kingdoms in Scythia began in the 370s. The anonymous authors of the Augustan history wrote that the Goths, along with the Heruli, sacked Heraclea Pontica, Cyzicus, and Byzantium. They were defeated by the Roman navy but managed to escape into the Aegean Sea, where they ravaged the islands of Lemnos and Skyros. In the Battle of Thermopylae 267, they sacked several cities of southern Greece province of Achaia including Athens, Corinth, Argos, Olympia and Sparta. An Athenian militia, led by the historian Dexippus, pushed the invaders to the north where they were intercepted by the Roman army under Gallienus. However, large portions are known to be fraudulent and the factual accuracy of the remainder is disputed. Of the second invasions, the history reports that an enormous coalition consisting of Goths Groithungi and Thirvingi, Gepids and Basterne, led again by the Heruli, assembled at the mouth of River Tyras Nister. They claim a total number of 2,000 to 6,000 ships and 325,000 men. This is probably a gross exaggeration but remains indicative of the scale of the invasion. After failing to storm some towns on the coasts of the western Black Sea and the Danube Constanza, Marcianopolis, they attacked Byzantium and Euskuter, part of their fleet was wrecked, either because of the Gothic inexperience in sailing through the violent currents of the Propontis or because it was defeated by the Roman navy. Aurelius Victor, the Caesars, a history from Augustus to Constantius II Cassiodorus, a lost history of the Goths used by Jordanes Claudian, poems Epitome de Caesaribus. The 4th century Greek historian Eunipius described the Goths' powerful build in a pejorative way. Their bodies provoked contempt in all who saw them, for they were far too big and far too heavy for their feet to carry them, and they were pinched in at the waist, just like those insects Aristotle writes of. Eutropius, Breviary. Eusebius, an historian who wrote in Greek in the 3rd century, wrote that in 334, Constantine evacuated approximately 300,000 Sarmatians from the north bank of the Danube after a revolt of the Sarmatian slaves. 
From 335 to 336, Constantine, continuing his Danube campaign, defeated many Gothic tribes. Gregory of Nyssa Hermann of Reichenau, an 11th century scholar, wrote that the Goths entered the Aegean Sea and a detachment ravaged the Aegean islands as far as Crete, Rhodes, and Cyprus. The fleet probably also sacked Troy and Ephesus, destroying the Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. While their main force had constructed siege works and was close to taking the cities of Thessalonica and Cassandreia, it retreated to the Balkan interior at the news that the emperor was advancing. On their way, they plundered Dodron and Pelagonia. Jerome, Chronicle Jordanes, in his Getica, written in the mid-500s, wrote that the earliest migrating Goths sailed from Skansa Scandinavia under King Berig in three ships. One shipload settled near the Vistula. They then moved into an area along the southern coast of the Baltic Sea which was inhabited by the Rugians, and expelled them. Julian the Apostate Lactantius, on the death of the persecutors Olympiodorus of Thebes Panagerici Latini Paulinus the Deacon, Life of Bishop Ambrose of Milan Paulus Orosius wrote that the Goths were of the same stock as the Suiones Swedes, the Vandals, and the other Scandinavian tribes. Philostorgius, Greek Church History Pliny the Elder wrote that Pythias, an explorer who visited northern Europe in the 4th century BC, reported that the Gutones, a people of Germany, inhabit the shores of an estuary called Mentinomen the Baltic Sea. The 6th century Byzantine historian Procopius wrote that the Goths were tall and blonde haired, for they all have white bodies and fair hair, and are tall and handsome to look upon. He noted that the Goths, Gepidae and Vandals were physically and culturally identical, suggesting a common origin. Sozomen Synesius, de Regno and de Providentia. The 4th century Greek bishop compared the Goths to wolves among sheep, mocked them for wearing skins and questioned their loyalty towards Rome, a man in skins leading warriors who wear the clamus, exchanging his sheepskins for the toga to debate with Roman magistrates and perhaps even sit next to a Roman consul, while law-abiding men sit behind. Then these same men, once they have gone a little way from the Senate House, put on their sheepskins again, and when they have rejoined their fellows they mock the toga, saying that they cannot comfortably draw their swords in it. Tacitus wrote that the Goths and the neighboring Rugi and Lemuvi carried round shields and short swords. However, the Goths who would later fight or be allied with the Huns, and who fought for and against Rome, might not be the same people Tacitus describes. The Mystius, Speeches Theodoret of Cyrus Theodosian Code. According to Zosimus, Dexippus won an important victory near the Nessos Mesta River, on the boundary between the Roman province of Macedonia and Thrace, the Dalmatian cavalry of the Roman army earning a reputation as good fighters. Reported barbarian casualties were 3,000 men. He writes about the Battle of Nasus by a Roman army led by Claudius advancing from the north. The battle most likely took place in 269, and was fiercely contested. Large numbers on both sides were killed but, at the critical point, the Romans tricked the Goths into an ambush by pretended flight. Around 50,000 Goths were allegedly killed or taken captive and their base at Thessalonica destroyed. See also Goots Geats Gutian people Jurat Rosales Topic. References Topic. Topic. Sources Topic. Anderson, Thorsten 1996. Gotter, Gotter, Gutar. Namn och Bygd in Swedish, 84-5-21. Beckwith, Christopher the First, the 16th of March 2009. Empires of the Silk Road: A History of Central Eurasia from the Bronze Age to the Present. Princeton University Press. ISBN 9781400829941. Retrieved the 30th of December 2014. Bell Fjallkif, Andrew, ed. 2000. The Role of Migration in the History of the Eurasian Steppe: Sedentary Civilization versus Barbarian and Nomad. New York, St. Martin's Press. ISBN 978-0-312-21207-0.
Bowman, Allen, Garnsey, Peter, Cameron, Averill, the 8th of September 2005. The Cambridge Ancient History, Volume 12, The Crisis of Empire, AD 193-337. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0521301992. Retrieved 17 January 2015. Bradley, Henry The Goths, From the Earliest Times to the End of the Gothic Dominion in Spain. London, T. Fisher Onwin. ISBN 978-1-4179-7084-1. Downloadable Google Books. Cameron, Allen, Long, Jacqueline, Sherry, Lee 2013. Barbarians and Politics at the Court of Arcadius. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0520065505. Retrieved 17 January 2015. Hermodson, Lars, Goterna, ETT Kriegefolk och des Bible, Stockholm, Atlantis, 1993. Jacobson, Torsten Cumberland, The Gothic War, Rome's Final Conflict in the West. Yardley, Westholm, 2009. X, 371p. Sandeep Juti. The Getz Philadelphia, Victor H. Mayer, University of Pennsylvania, 2003. Jurat Statkett de Rosales Baltz and Goths, The Missing Link in European History, translation by Danut Rosales, supervised and corrected by Ed Tarvid. Lamont, Il, Vidunas Youth Fund, 2004. Kulikowski, Michael 2006. Rome's Gothic Wars, From the Third Century to Alaric. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1139458092. Retrieved 17 January 2015. Mastrelli, Carlo Alberto in Volker Bierbauer et al., I Goethe, Milan, Electa Lombardia, Element Editori Associati, 1994. Moorhead, Sam, Stuttered, David 2010. AD 410, The Year That Shook Rome. Getty Publications. ISBN 978-1606060247. Retrieved 17 January 2015. Nordgren, I. Goterkellen, Om Goterna i Norden och pa Kontinenten, Skara, Vestergetlands Museum Skriftserie NR 30, 2000. Nordgren, I. The Wellspring of the Goths, About the Gothic Peoples in the Nordic Countries and on the Continent, 2004. Rodan, L., Lindblom, V., Klang, K., Guttetrad och Vastgotska Skotkunger, Variges Bisontiska ARV, Gotbog, Trey Bacher, 1994. Schatz der Ostgotten, Stuttgart, Theis, 1995. Studia Gotica. Die Eisenzeitlichen Verbindungen zwischen Schweden und Swedosteuropa. Vortrage beim Gotein Symposium im Statens Historiska Museum, Stockholm 1970. Wenskes, Reinhard, Stammesbildung und Verfassung. Das Worden der Frühmittelalterlichen Gentis, Kohl 1961. Tucker, Spencer, the 23rd of December 2009. A Global Chronology of Conflict, from the Ancient World to the Modern Middle East. ABC Clio. ISBN 978-1851096725. Retrieved 17 January 2015. Wolfram, Herwig The Roman Empire and its Germanic Peoples. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0520085114. Retrieved 1 January 2015.